Person Environment Fit, Walter Michel's Critique of Personality Traits, Personality Psychology, Professor Michael Botwin, Department of Psychology, California State University, Fresno. Hi, welcome to this installment of Personality Psychology. In 1968, Walter Michel published a seminal book named Personality and Assessment, and in that book he attacked the notion of the personality trait and found that most relationships between personality traits and external criteria were relatively poor. Uh, he used this to condemn personality traits and the study of them. This attack had been made several times in the history of personality psychology, but in 1968, Michelle's arguments stuck. Why? I have no idea. My basic guess is that they were due to the rising eminence of social psychology as a subdiscipline of psychology, the still importance in 1968 of Skinner and behaviorism, and it was time for the attack to stick. When I was an undergraduate and applying to graduate school, it had gotten so bad that one of my mentors, who was a cognitive psychologist, asked me why I wanted to go into personality psychology, because, as he said, it was a dead field. Well, fortunately, Michelle's critique, although valid, was part of a movement that eventually developed into a renaissance for personality psychology and new ways of looking at the person and the environment. But before we get to those ways, let's look at Michelle's critique of the personality trait. In 1968, Walter Michelle published Personality and Assessment. In that book, he critiqued personality traits as a viable construct in psychology. Basically, Michelle concluded that personality was not consistent across situations. And he went into the literature to explore this and found that the majority of studies using personality traits to predict some type of criteria did it rather poorly with correlations generally around 0.3, which is a very modest but still oftentimes statistically significant correlation. Michelle labeled this the personality coefficient. Now, the personality coefficient at uh, point three became a major issue in personality and social psychology. The reason is the coefficient of determination, which is basically taken by squaring the correlation between two variables. The coefficient of determination is an index of how much of the variation is explained by the statistical relationship between two variables as seen in a correlation coefficient. So if you take Michelle's personality coefficient of 0.3 and square it to get the coefficient of determination, you get 0 0.09. In other words, only 9% of the variance between these two variables is explained by the correlation, which is admittedly extremely small. Part of the problem was that studies had been done with some poor criteria, and Michelle's attack was at the right place and the right time. In fact, for many people in personality psychology, it was the equivalent of Dr. Evils from the Austin Power series, frickin' sharks with laser beams. And it was 
an attack against the field. This resulted in a lot of soul searching and thinking and personality psychology, which ended up to be a very good thing because personality psychologists were able to address Michelle's crit criticisms. And we'll look at those ways that they were addressed in subsequent videos. This is a We Have Couches video production, copyright 2020, Professor Michael Botwin, all rights reserved. Bye now.